in the United States, schools across the nation pride themselves in representing a system that promotes social justice to protect our children. To me, social justice stands for the representation of any and all cultures that our students come to love and identify with. For the 13 million children in our country that find their creativity through adhering to skate culture, this push for social justice has yet to reach them in that they will find no representation within their schooling institutions. I'm Brian Martinez. I'm from Monterey County. And I'm a sophomore in high school. I've been skating for about six, seven years now, and it's probably one of my favorite things to do. And I've been doing it and in love with it. Um, schools should basically just they should support skateboarding more. Like, there's nothing wrong with it besides how it, like everybody makes it look just by like saying, "Oh, it ruins your concrete, it ruins property." But it's not so bad. You just get to know it. Like they just spent like two point something million on a brand new pool and a couple years back they spent a lot of money on a new football field like they can't dedicate some money to a new skate park like it's kind of whack like it doesn't take that much money to build like a quarter pipe or a box just like a small pool area to have a little skate, like skate park safe spot skate spot Sean Byrne 19 years old to Marina High from Monterey, California, now living in Marina, California. When I say sophomore year in high school, I was approached about being on the first city funded skate team. And at first it was kind of kind of foreign, I didn't really know too much about it, but it ended up being a really, really positive thing on me because I would go skate with my friends and we all went to the same school and the school was really involved, like we couldn't go do skate contests if our grades weren't up. You had to be a, a role model for the younger kids and keep your grades up. And Perry Doig was basically basically like an older brother to me. That dude was one of my biggest mentors and pretty much everyone's mentor because I was quite the handful as a young teen. And uh, kind of kept me in check. And you know, it was also fun just skating with him and having those positive outlets. You know, schools just kind of perceive it as it's like this horrible thing, grinding up our ledges, when really it's a positive, creative outlet. I don't see why should, schools shouldn't get involved with it because it's only going to help the community that much more because you know, all they want to do is when they get off of school is go skate, but if you kind of throw that in, like, okay, you can be on our school team, but you have to keep your grades up, that's going to give them more incentive to uh, do better in school. It's just like how a football player, if he wants to play the next game, coach isn't going to let him play if he had like a 2.0 or something like that so you know I think it could be really really positive thing. This idea of implementing skateboarding teams into schooling institutions is not a push to celebrate a hobby. It is a movement to support a lifestyle of many children. In our nation there are more children that define themselves through skateboarding than those that participate in little leagues. So in a society where one out of every four adolescents are engaged in at-risk behavior it should be a priority as educators to support each and every student's lifestyle. The benefits for students that connect skateboarding to their campuses will be endless.